In this illustration, we intend to simulate the wave propagation using and without using the infinite elements in the Abacus software and survey the effect of infinite elements on the obtained results. Actually, we intend to compare the results gained from using the model having infinite element with that without infinite elements. In this example, a pulsing loading in form of cosine is applied to the model, the diagram of which can be observed here. Here, I intend to define the properties of aluminium, select density from general menu the density of aluminium is equal to 2842 kilograms per cubic meter then select elasticity and elastic from mechanical menu the young modulus is equal to 73 gigapascal and the poisson ratio is equal to zero you can also draw this diagram in the abacus software As you observe, this diagram has been drawn in this manner. You can see clearly that the time period is 0.3 microseconds. Here you can observe the wave propagation without using the infinite elements. As you observe, the propagated wave reaches the bottom of the model and then returns to the model and does not go out of the model. Actually, the wave reflection phenomenon is clearly observed. In fact, when the wave reaches the end, it is reflected and returns to the model and does not leave the model. As it can be observed in this picture, the wave reflects from above downwards and vice versa again and again and bounces back into the model. You actually observe a repetitive to and fro movement. As you see in this picture, the wave is constantly moving forward and backward and has a repetitive movement. Here I will click on create XY data, then select ODB history output and continue. Here I will draw the vertical displacement for point A and here you can see its related diagram. As this diagram displays, the wave has a repetitive movement and has been repeated many times. Actually, this wave has been moving from above downwards and vice versa five times.
In the next step, I will click on with infinite. As you observe here, the propagated wave reaches the bottom of the model and exits out of it and doesn't get back to the model again. Here, there is no wave reflecting available. In fact, the infinite elements can eliminate wave reflection phenomenon and this has been clearly displayed in this picture. Actually, when the wave reaches the bottom of the model, the infinite elements absorb the energy and wouldn't let it return to the model again. Here, I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I will draw the vertical displacement for point A. As you observe, in this diagram, the wave has no repetitive movement and you can see here a nearly flat line indicating that the wave has already exited the model and not returned to that again. In the next step, I will click on Create X XY Data, select ODB History Output and continue. Here I will select Viscous Dissipation. And click on Plot. Here you can observe the energy having been absorbed by infinite elements which are nearly equal to 40 joules. As it can be observed, about 41 joules of energy were absorbed by infinite elements. Now, I intend to draw the energy absorbed in the model in which infinite elements have not been used. Here I will select Viscous Dissipation, Plot, and click on Save As. And OK, now I'll draw these two diagrams simultaneously. As you observe, when we use infinite elements, the energy is, is absorbed well. But when finite elements are not used, no energy will be absorbed, which can be clearly observed here. Actually, the diagram have, having been displayed by green color, is related to infinite elements and those brown elements are related to the model in which infinite elements have not been used. 
In fact, if you use infinite elements in the model, the energy will be absorbed quite well and will not reflect back to the model. Here, in the right picture, you can observe the model with infinite elements and in the left one, the model can be observed without infinite elements. As you observe in the left picture, when the wave reaches the bottom of the model, returns to the model again, moving upwards and downwards constantly. But in the right picture, where the model has been simulated using the infinite elements, the wave gets out of the model when reaching the bottom and never returns again. And here you can observe the main difference between these two models.